Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. A proton is accelerated from rest through a potential difference of 250 volt before entering a region of magnetic field strength of 0.14 Tesla acting in a perpendicular direction. What is the radius of the curved path in the magnetic field? Give your answer in millimeters. So my dear students, this question is really very important. I would say there are two big concepts involved. The first concept is whenever a charged particle is accelerated through a potential difference, like this be the potential difference, V is the voltage, Q is the charge. The gain in kinetic energy is equal to QV. And from here, you find the formula of EV. Isn't it EV? And there are many other videos that I have uploaded in the YouTube playlist that explain you this part, like how this can be uh, derived. I have given those videos already. You have to see them if you want to go into bigger details. Okay, so this is the kinetic energy that we have. And now let us concentrate on the second part of the question. First part I'm not explaining here because it's already done. Let us say the charged particle is entering here. If the charged particle is entering here, it is acted upon by a force. And this magnetic force is given by QVB. This is given in the book, QVB. Q is the charge, V is the velocity, B is the magnetic field through which it is now, it is entering into. Now, because this force is perpendicular to the velocity vector, it starts acting like centripetal force. And it only means that this charged particle will start moving in a circular fashion. So it moves like this in a circular fashion and it gets out of the field very simply. So it is moving in a circular fashion. Why? Because the force that is acting on it is perpendicular to the velocity vector, which is the characteristic of centripetal force. And that is why this force acts like centripetal. So there will be a circular motion. So there comes this question like what will be the radius of it? So what do we do when we find radius? Obviously, we take some certain point like this. This is being acted upon by the force and this is act, this will be acted upon by the centrifugal or you can say that this force is acting as a centripetal force. One is the same thing. At the end of the day, we are going to equate the centripetal force with the magnetic force. So the centripetal force will be mv squared by r is equal to qvp, these two forces. Here in India, we use the concept of centrifugal forces more explicitly, I would say, because it's easier for the students to understand like what is happening here. You see, this uh, is acted upon by a force and there is another force which is centrifugal. The centrifugal force, people, those who don't know it, is a reaction part of centripetal. Centripetal is a force which is towards the center. Centrifugal is the force which is away from the center. They are equal in magnitude, equal and opposite. Simple as it is. Now, this force is magnetic force inwards. This force is centrifugal. Obviously, they have to balance each other. Isn't it? So, they are balancing. Simple. Or according to the IB books, you can just say that this force is acting like centripetal. So this is how we do it and velocity and velocity gets cancelled out. From here you can find the radius is given by mv by qp. Here we are just going to substitute the values now. What is the mass? So mass of the proton. Okay fine. Kinetic energy is there. Now this is the momentum and we only know the kinetic energy not the momentum. So that becomes the first part of the question. We have to convert this momentum into kinetic energy. So we know that P square is equal to 2 mk, a very famous formula that we have done, we have learned in the topic mechanics. Now, momentum will be given by 2 m into kinetic energy square root divided by qb. Anyways, there is no respite, we have to substitute the mass, but we can get rid of velocity this way. So, 2 into mass of electron into kinetic energy, which is charge of electron multiplied by the voltage and the voltage is I believe 250 yes so it will be a square root here divided by the charge on electron or on the proton into the magnetic field that is 0 0.14 and the answer will be in meter so my dear students I'm just leaving this question here you have to find the answer this is how we do this. All the best.